Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a day in the life video and I feel like what better day to do that than my birthday. I am 28 today, which I I don't even know how to put into words how weird that is for me. I feel like I have not aged a day past like 21. Maybe not physically. I definitely physically look a lot older <laughs> than when I was 21, but no one tells you or no one prepares you when you're younger for how even as you get older, you do figure things out for sure, but you never really feel like a full adult. But I am honestly just really grateful for a new year. I am excited to see what the year of 28 brings uh, to me, for me, whatever. I'm excited to take you along with me today because I decided to load up my 28th birthday with all of my favorite things. I'm excited to share those things with you. The main things that we're going to be doing today, decorating my tree for Christmas. I'm sure you saw that in the thumbnail of this video. I am going to be decorating my downstairs space in general and I decorated last year on my birthday as well. It was like the earliest I could convince Hayden to let me decorate my tree. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be probably shopping for our adopted families if we get the time. We could do that today or we could do it a different day but I'm really hoping to do that today as well. For ours in particular, we're given names and um, preferred gifts for certain people. We write down the names on the gift, wrap them up, and then we bring them to the charitable organization that we are working with. The reason I bring it up as well is because I feel like this is something that you first become an adult. It's probably not something you necessarily think of, or maybe you're not in a position to be able to do it. But last year we started doing this because it's something I did growing up and it's something that I think is a really cool thing to do around the holiday season. Yeah, that would be a really fun thing to do on my birthday, probably also get lunch while we're out. And then lastly, we are going to a really like fancy five course dinner, which I'm hyped about as well. Hopefully going to film every course. It's like a five course experience at this restaurant downtown. Uh, but before we get into it, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the sponsor of today's video, Brooklinen. Brooklinen is a company that I have personally been using ever since I graduated from college. When I moved into my first apartment, I was on the hunt for really high quality bedding at a really affordable price. And Brooklinen instantly drew me in and I literally have not looked back. There were always Brooklinen sheets on my bed. So this seemed like the perfect collaboration. I really obviously value having really comfortable sheets at an affordable price. And Brooklinen always succeeds at this because they cut out the middleman. Brooklinen was founded on the philosophy that people deserve beautiful, simple home essentials without the luxury markup. Making your home beautiful is the ultimate form of self-care. What's also self-care is shopping for your classic or luxe hardcore bundle from the comfort of your own home. Instead of buying individual items, you can save 25% by buying a hardcore bundle, which includes a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. Now, I personally went with the classic hardcore bundle. I really love Brickell cotton. It is kind of the only thing that I've ever slept on ever since I was little because I live in Texas and it's super hot here. I'm also a really hot sleeper. So if you want to stay cool all night long, I would really recommend the classic percale sheets. They're incredible. They have a breathable 270 thread count weave for a really timeless, crisp, luxury hotel look. Also one of my favorite things about Brooklinen is the ability to mix and match colors. There's like 20 plus color options for the duvet and the core sheet set so you can really mix and match. When I was selecting on the website, I was really certain that I was going to go with the white sheets and the white duvet cover, but I had been kind of looking to switch up my style a little bit in my bedroom especially. So I ended up going with the graphite and steel Oxford striped duvet covers and extra pillowcases. That way I can mix and match these pillowcases with the white pillowcases. And I went with the solid white sheets, which come with one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and two pillowcases. So it's the next day, midday specifically, and I'm back in bed. I just want to be tucked into these soft, soft covers. I slept in my Brooklinen bedding last night and y'all, it was a transformative experience. Was so impressed with not only the softness and just how luxurious the bedding felt, but the fact that I didn't wake up in the middle of the night and I didn't use my Brooklinen bedding before I got my Brooklinen bedding was waking up in the middle of the night hot. Whenever I put my Brooklinen duvet cover on my duvet, I didn't wake up at all. This is what my bed looks like now that I have my Brooklinen bedding on my bed. Absolutely adore the look of it. And the feel of it is so soft and luxurious. I'm really excited to share with you that Brooklinen is having their biggest sale of the year right now through November 30th. Click my link below to get 20% off their sheets and other products. Thanks again to Brooklinen for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now I think I am going to go ahead and get working on on decor. I'm super excited. I'm gonna get Hayden to get the tree down and I think I'm also going to start washing things. I need to wash our couch desperately. Also the armchair slipcover in our living room. Unexciting stuff for sure but it really makes all the difference. <laughs> go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna time lapse everything. Put stuff to nice Christmas music and um you know update you as I go along about what I am doing.
there we go. You know, it wouldn't be my birthday without a crumble cookies review. Obviously we took a little break from tree stuff. We did get it fully assembled. I am waiting to put stuff on it because my blood sugar was too low and I was I was feeling a little hungry. So we just ate lunch. Gonna do a crumble cookies review and then we're gonna go into Target. We're in the Target parking lot right now. Also, sorry if you can hear any ambient rain noises. Can we turn the um, wipers off? This week had interesting flavors. I wasn't entirely sure if I needed this week, but you know what? It's my birthday week and we're doing it. And also I needed because- Yeah, the flavors are very Hayden centric. Me. Okay, so. There is a pumpkin with cream cheese frosting, which I'm about. I like that there are little baby semi-sweet chocolate chips on the top. I think they're really cute. I think they'll add good crunch. And then there's the semi-sweet chocolate chunk cookie with sea salt, which is very much Hayden. And then there's the hazelnut with hazelnut on the inside. Another Hayden treat. And then there's the lemon blackberry, I think. Raspberry? Blackberry. Lemon blackberry. Okay. Yeah. It's like lemon poppy seed. Blackberry. Normally I'm not about that, but you know, it looked like a sort of like regular frosting. I don't know. It, it looks pretty good. If it were like a, a fruit filling kind of thing or like, like a, a fruit, jam. Yeah, that wouldn't be for me, but I, I'm interested in this. Actually, I think I'm going to start on that side. I'm okay. going to get, get a little different. This one is chilled. Okay, you got some Nutella on the bottom side of that. I'm, my hands are going to get messy. I don't I care. was just letting you know. I don't care. <laughs> Definitely lemon. It's not bad. Was it chilled? That's what I said. It's a little bit like, you know, lemon pledgy, but not terrible. For me, I like that there isn't too much frosting on it. Yeah, it's like a good amount. Try hazelnut. I don't know if I like hazelnut. Do you like Nutella? I've never had Nutella before. You've You've never had Nutella before? I just didn't know that. I'm not like saying like, that's crazy. I just like, surprised I didn't know that about you. Could tell from the sound that this is me. The cookie quality is delicious. It's very buttery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. It just tastes like chocolate to me. It's not very hazelnutty. Well, that shit pops and and twerks and went the fuck off. She's... Now imagine that. Mm-hmm. My favorite cookie that I've ever had at Crumble was that, but it was a Snickerdoodle on the outside. I'll make a piss throb. Oh. I definitely like that better than the regular chocolate chip cookie. Really? Yeah kind of surprises me because they use like very milk chocolate i know that one. that one just like isn't very sweet like this cookie isn't sweet but it doesn't have that biscuity consistency which is very good they're both like equally i didn't for me. expect they're to just like, like different cookies not that i didn't expect to like either but they're definitely not like my wheelhouse but those are good oh no i meant like that and the the normal chocolate chip mm. chocolate chip biscuit all right are you ready for the the pumpkin Oh, I was, I was born ready. Cream cheese frosting? Oh, yeah. Also, every time they have, like, the, the pumpkin cookie, it's always, like, very, like, soft, like a cupcake. The best cookie you've ever had, or what? What's going on here? God damn. I mean, I don't think this is for you, but it sure is I for me. I do like the... It's a little weird, but I really do like the, the texture of the pumpkin. Like, if you just look at this, this just looks like the top of a pumpkin cupcake. It looks like a muffin top, you know? I'm gonna be getting a muffin top if I keep eating these cookies, but I sure don't care. That's pretty good. And see, still a little bit too much frosting for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But this cookie in particular, the, the fact that it's so like bungee and mm-hmm. like big helps to make it feel like less frosting. It kind of helps buffer the it a little bit. The cookie itself is not that sweet either. It's very spiced. Mm-hmm. No, I liked that a lot still too much frosting for me like i could only really have like one bite of that which like doesn't matter because there's no way that i could get another bite of that without getting my hand not off like good yeah it's pretty good i'm like kind of impressed with this week okay i think i'm gonna go well first of all i'm gonna try not to get this uh cream cheese frosting on my hands cream cheese frosting obviously pumpkin she's their girl two hazelnut because the the dough on this is just so yummy it and really buttery. is good it's like really good um then semi-sweet and then that one a very very tough for me i'm gonna say these up so you can actually see them semi-sweet number one okay very very close number two okay if this was the snickerdoodle variety of it this would be number one because yeah. that is hands down I mean, it sounds good as my fuck. favorite crumble cookie it's a it's a snickerdoodle and it has nutella well, on the inside now that i'm thinking about it i don't know that i'd like that because i don't love cinnamon and chocolate together which i know is controversial but anyway continue it's so good and then this one the pumpkin one number three these are basically tied for one and two and then pumpkin is three and, yeah, and yeah. lemon and like the lemon one isn't bad it's, it's definitely not like, bad it's just it every time comparison. they have a lemon cookie it's just a little too lemon it's a little too lemon pledge it's not mm-hmm. too lemon it's like artificial lemon and i'm sorry but like fruit dessert fine with fruit dessert i like a lot of fruit desserts i know but if you're giving me the option between a chocolate chip cookie and like a cookie with some jam on it i'm always gonna pick the chocolate chip cookie you know it's shaped up to be a pretty good week now we're gonna go into target get 16 double a batteries 
for my garland. There's two boxes on the garland. Mm -hmm. I don't know if one of the boxes isn't for batteries though. The garland that I bought, I thought it was like the kind you plugged into the wall, but apparently it has battery packs. I don't know if I hate that or not, but I do need a shitload of batteries for it because it's got these like big ass boxes to put the batteries in. So that'll be fun adventure. And then obviously we are going to look for stuff for our adopted family. We are doing two different families this year. One of them has a lot of like requests from Amazon and Walmart, which we're not at. So we're going to do that later. Other family, it was just kind of like more general. Really excited because one of them has uh, a girl baby coming. Like it'll be like a newborn. So I just shop for baby clothes. We're going to do that. Um, I think they have like young kids as well. So like fun kids toys. Yeah. I like shopping for kids toys because I don't. We don't have kids. Yeah. So I it's like fun to I don't get to buy to toys for myself without looking weird. So we're going to get to buy toys for other people's kids. We're gonna do that. Might be roll it or haul it. I don't really, I don't really know. I was gonna do a Target haul, kind of show you all the stuff that we ended up purchasing. Y'all know how I feel about these. You know how I feel about these, okay? Had to get the protein bars. And then for the adoptive family stuff. So each of these bags, I think is each of the family members or part of the family members. I tried to keep it like simple and or as basic as possible because obviously like I don't know people's tastes. There's not a whole lot of like actual links, at least for the first family that we had. The second family has like individual links to things that they want from walmart.com, which I'll purchase online. But this was kind of general so I got this really cute little zero to three month zip up thing because they have a baby that's gonna be born pretty soon doesn't say when so I ended up getting like zero to three month stuff newborn stuff as well just like a pack of onesies these are zero to three and then I think the other two things I got are newborn sizes I know some babies when they're born are like too big for newborn sizes so I didn't want to get like all newborn stuff and then I got this little like matching that's super cute um, it's got like pants and then a little sweatshirt and then some pacifiers it said just like baby stuff and baby clothes but again like I don't really know preferences I didn't want to buy a bunch of bottles that like the baby wouldn't like. And then there are two little boys, a little zip up jacket. This is in 3T. I think he's 2T, but I figured like can grow into it and or a jacket can be oversized. Um, it was just really hard to find stuff at Target. Our Target was really sold out of things. I got this little Henley, like two-tone long sleeve shirt, joggers. Thought that was like a good little haul. And I feel like all of these can kind of like mix and match. Two bags for the 10 year old because 10 year old clothing is obviously bigger. Um, and I was able to find a little matching t-shirt for him. It's the same size as, or it's not the same size. It's the same style as the 2T one. So in case like, I don't know, the mom wants like matching Christmas pictures or something. This long sleeve. This super soft jacket that I really liked. I thought this would be like really good for the winter time. It's just camo with like a fuzzy lining. I was gonna go for a solid color, but they didn't have any. So these little like navy, just like straight pants and then um, some joggers. That's what we purchased for adoptive family. Now the sun is out. I'm actually gonna go ahead and decorate the tree. Hayden, like I said, is putting the batteries into the garland. I guess I can take you over there and show you the garland because she's cute. She actually matches our tree. Decided to spring for the kind of expensive garland. I guess it's the same like sort of plasticky bristles as the tree, which I like. Um, I think it is a little bit more realistic. I'm gonna go ahead and set you on the tripod and time lapse and we can get started with um, the decorating, which is gonna be long. Obviously, we have brought down all of the Christmas stuff. These are most of the bins. There are two bins right here. This is like decor and a garland to go on the mantle. And then I also have some stuff <laughs> back here in this corner that I purchased for this year. I haven't really put anything out yet except for the garland that I have right here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this exactly how it is. I feel like the layout is super cute, but it's giving a little bit too much Victorian Christmas, which I really, really like. I think it's cute. But given like the style of the stuff that I'm about to put on my tree, I feel like it might be, it might not completely coordinate. A lot of the stuff I have is like taupe. So I feel like I need to add a little bit of something else over there and maybe move some of those candlesticks over onto my mantle instead. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is put my ribbon on my tree. I'd like to get my tree done today. Obviously like decor would be nice too, but I don't know if I'll have enough time before dinner. So this is the ribbon that I am working with. There's a lot here. This is the topper that I made last year. It's a little bit crushed, but there's this like white birch ribbon with this gradient glitter ribbon. I found another spool or two of this particular ribbon. It's my favorite. I found this at, at home a couple years ago. They just restocked it this year. I'm definitely gonna go with these two colors. And then I also got this beautiful kind of crisscrossy taupe ribbon. For reference, last year I ended up using this taupe ribbon. It's the same exact brand and actually the same color, although you can't tell on the plastic. I couldn't find more of this. 
I was like, ah, I'll find more of this and it'll be good for my big tree because my tree is bigger this year. But unfortunately, I couldn't find any of it. I did find this ribbon, same brand, but it has a glitter crisscross X and I like it a little bit better anyway. I have four spools of it, which should cover my 10 foot tree. Um, so we're gonna mix this one with the birch. That's gonna be like the main colors on the tree with a little bit of that glitter accent. And what I can't decide <laughs> is if I also want to include this ribbon, which is so pretty. It's this kind of like creamy color, got kind of like a flecky dot situation going on with like this kind of fringy side. I think it adds a lot of like pretty texture and I think it could look really nice um, with the situation going on. Last year, I had like two main ribbons, <laughs> right? I had that like solid taupe ribbon with this ribbon and then I did some like glitzy ribbon in conjunction. This that I could add, this like thin ribbon. I like a lot of layers, okay? Anyway, I think I'm just gonna play it by ear, put the big ribbon on the tree first and then just kind of like go from there, see what I like. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse you and show you what we're working with. dumbass really thought that I was gonna finish um, doing Christmas stuff today. I was sorely, sorely mistaken. It's like, how much do I want to share? You know what? I'm gonna give you full disclosure. Um, this has been a horrendous brain day. Really bad stuff. I still got the stuff done that I could get done before our dinner reservations, but um, once I got home at like nine o'clock, I was like, you know what? We're gonna put the rest of this off until tomorrow because I just can't. I just can't do it today. And it's really hard to put things on the tree when it's dark outside. I'm going to manage to get things filmed tomorrow for other videos. Also go to my job Botox appointment and finish Christmas decor is beyond me. It's beyond me, but um, we're going to attempt to do it. I think I have a better shot of that actually getting accomplished tomorrow. I'm going to be like laser focused. Okay. Wake up early, get it done. Uh, but I just thought I'd check in and let you know that this is not actually like going to be a day in the life video. It's going to be more like a spend my birthdays with me video. Uh, that's probably gonna be the title of this video. Hello, Theodore. He's awfully chirpy tonight. I'm gonna go, and you know what I think I'm going to do? I am going to luxury eight. It's so cold. <laughs> I honestly kind of want to take a bath. I don't think I'm actually gonna do that though. I think I'm gonna get under my covers. I'm gonna get rid of like all of these uh, random throw pillows for my couch that are in here for some reason. I'm gonna hop in bed and I'm gonna watch all of the adult Disney content my heart desires. I, if you would have said Chandler, hey, five years ago, that I would be watching adult Disney content on uh, on YouTube. I, I would not have believed you, but it's just something about a soothing voice. It gets to me every time. My niche interest right now, not even niche, I guess, because it's you know, Indiana. It's just to live in Indianapolis specifically. An adult Disney content hyperfixation, shall we say. I'm gonna watch that stuff. I think my man, Jason Compton from the Compton Home Group, posted another like uh, Indianapolis propaganda video today, so maybe I'll watch that. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I'm back. As you can see, or as you maybe saw, I added all of the ribbon to my tree and I actually ended up going with a different top. I think you can see most of it and uh, I'll insert some like B-roll footage here so you can really get a good look at it. Uh, I decided not to go with a traditional topper. I felt like my topper was maybe a little bit too rustic for the sort of glam ribbon that I ended up going with. I tempered some of that like crisscross glitter ribbon with some solid velvet ribbon, uh, which you'll see obviously in the close-ups, but I think it turned out really nice. I'm really happy with it. Um, and again, like the topper I think goes well. It's just a bunch of uh, picks, I guess you could say. You can find them pretty much at any store that sells Christmas uh, gear. I got a ton of these like little pearl and ball picks and I just threw them up the top of my tree. This is something that my mom has been doing for many years and I just haven't followed suit because it seems like a lot of work. It's kind of expensive, I won't lie. Um, I went to the store today. I think I spent like a hundred plus dollars just on picks, which is stupid. Definitely like kind of the dumbest Christmas decision I've made so far, but I like the way it looks. I think I'll probably be doing this for years to come. So I am happy with it. I do, again, like really like how the ribbon 
is turning out. But now I get to go and do my favorite part of the entire process, which is the ornaments. I love the way ribbon looks. It is so crucial to me to create the look that I want, but I don't, I was gonna say I hate. I don't enjoy, shall we say, actually putting the ribbon on the tree. I think it took me maybe an hour and a half or two hours to put all this ribbon on the tree. It is a 10 footer, so I guess it's like not that surprising, but very time consuming. Now I'm ready to just finish this tree off, deck it out with some ornaments. I don't think I'll be able to get to the other decorating today, unfortunately, like in my house. I'm gonna try to do that pretty early uh, tomorrow, Wednesday morning, and then I'll give you like the final reveal. I just wanna take my time and like really enjoy the process. And I know that adding all of these ornaments is gonna take a while. I think it's already like three o'clock at this point and the sun sets at like five anyway. So <laughs> I don't really have enough time to um, decorate my tree and decorate the rest of my space. I don't know why I'm rambling. I just wanted to check in, say, hey, I got my Botox done. Sorry if you can see any puncture marks on my face. Um, it was kind of painful this time. It's not normally painful. Uh, if you didn't know, I get Botox in my master muscles because I have really bad TMJ. Helps a lot. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and put you on time-lapse again and put you to some Christmas music and we can finish off the tree decorating process. Hello, my friends. Happy Wednesday. It is the last day of this vlog. Hopefully this audio is recording. I'm using a different camera as you can probably tell, my wide angle lens. I wanted to check in with you before we get to the final stages of decorating. I am going to be decorating my living room and my bedroom. I guess my kitchen too. Just basically the entire downstairs area, which I'm really excited about. Lots planned. We'll see how it goes. I feel like I didn't really update you on what happened on Monday and just like things in general like that I've done in between then and now. Since this is kind of like a spend the day or spend my birthday with me, I feel like you deserve the updates. So the dinner that we went to, the five course dinner on Monday was so good. It was at Juniper and it was like a five course meal. I don't know. It was really impressive. It was $75 for five courses, which obviously is kind of <laughs> spendy, but for the amount of food that you get and how delicious the food was, I would actually highly, highly recommend it. Only in my opinion, like worth it, especially for like a special occasion. So if you're in the Austin area, I would recommend Juniper. And then yesterday, obviously I spent the majority of the day decorating my tree, but I was also able to get online and buy the rest of the gifts for our other adopted family. Really nice because they had specific links to everything that they wanted. I was able to knock all of that out and, um, yeah, so now we're pretty much done with that. I think we still need like a couple of Walmart gift cards, but really nice to have that done. And I will be wrapping those gifts probably here in the next day or two. Like I said, today I am most focused on getting the downstairs decorated. I need to do that kind of quickly though, because I have so much stuff to do today. I have to get Taylor Swift concert tickets. My sister was going to do them, but they pushed, I guess, the Capital One presale the day after it was supposed to happen. And my sister has an exam. So I'm in charge of obtaining the tickets for us. So I have to do that. And then I have a few videos that I need to get filmed and edited. I'm gonna take you downstairs with me and I'm gonna start decorating for the next 30 minutes before a meeting that I need to hop on um, and hopefully we can get a lot of stuff accomplished. I do have a lot of Christmas decor, but I feel like I know kind of where I want everything to go. So let's get to it. <laughs>
All right, y'all, I am back. I had to take a temporary little break to obtain Taylor Swift concert tickets, film a video, and do a meeting for my nine to five. It is much later. It's like 3.45 at this point, but I am ready to finish off my Christmas decor. I wanted to show you what I've gotten done so far though. I've been pretty happy with the progress I'm making. It's just kind of challenging to figure out like where to put individual things when certain areas of my home are a little bit trickier, but I am happy with some of the stuff. So let me show you my kitchen, which is mostly done, but I do have one final touch. So actually, let me grab the final touch first. These are so cute, right? We have the little gingerbread houses that I got from At Home this year. I'll try to link them in the description, but At Home had so many cute little gingerbread houses. So I have some right here with a little Merry Christmas sign in front of it. I also put a tree from Home Goods in front of our like security system thing so you can't see it anymore. And I just think that looks so precious. And then over here, two more gingerbread houses. So they're flanked on either side. I don't know if you can see it, but have a wreath. And I always have this wreath up there. I put it up there last Christmas and then I just never took it down. So I put a little ribbon up there and then I thought it would be really precious to put these little snowflake crochet garland kind of across the window. I really love a good garland that is not greenery. I think these can add a lot of like cute personality to a space without being, I don't know, overly complicated or expensive. The only thing I don't love about these is the way that they're connected. I feel like this string is not my favorite, but that's really cute. I'll take you over here now and show you the rest of the spaces. I still haven't really figured out what I want to do right here. Um, I need to change out the vessel for sure. I'm not gonna keep the amber glass here, but I'm thinking I might do some Christmas picks in a vase, similar to what I did on the top of the tree, but maybe more greenery. I feel like I didn't end up using all of the picks in my tree this year. So maybe some like in a, in a vase. Did um, a little Noel sign and a little Christmas tree next to this lamp, which I think is really cute. I didn't really have a lot of flat spaces this year to put signs because on my mantle I have my little village and then on my entryway table I just have other stuff that I want to put there so it's tough finding a place for the couple of signs I have I still don't have a place for this one which I think is just so cute I don't think I'm gonna put it in my bedroom because it doesn't really go with the vibe I'm going for in there but it is so cute so I don't know maybe I'll find a place for it maybe I'll put it in my laundry room I don't know a tree a little reindeer that I need to cut the tag off of and then this package I don't know if I'm keeping this here but I do like this little tree and package situation we have the entryway so I think I should showed you the setup with the candlesticks that I loved, but I just don't think it fits the vibe. It's a little too Victorian, right? So I have these precious, beautiful sparkly trees that I'm putting up here with a couple of candlesticks. And what I'm thinking I'm gonna do instead of greenery right here, this wreath kind of hanging on this mirror right here. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards at the moment. I love how everything is turning out and looking. I have used most of my decor, which I'm happy with. I was scared that I would have so much left over that like I didn't know what to do with. The only thing at this point that I don't know what to do with is that Merry Christmas sign. And then my man Santa right here, my skiing Santa that I got from at home. He's just so cute. I don't know what to do with him, but I love him. I think what I'm gonna do at this point is finish up in the living room and then just show you what everything looks like because I think my endless fiddling is not gonna look very cute, but I am also going to be doing stuff in my bedroom. I'm not doing anything major in there. I did buy like a tiny sort of amber glass, brown glass Christmas tree from like the dollar spot at Target. I think it was like three bucks. And I'm gonna put some garland as well on my dresser. Just little small details and small changes. I didn't really wanna go full out Christmas in there and realizing I don't necessarily love Christmas th like thrown up in my in my bedroom. I want something a little bit more um, subtle, a little more subtle in there. And I'll show you what that looks like as well. But I think this is kind of the end of the road for me talking. Uh, the last things you're going to see are sort of some like delightful B-roll, the Christmas music of what I have decided for like final touches and where things go. But I just want to say thank you so much for spending my birthday in these past couple of days with me. It has been so much fun. I love making content like this for you. And even though, like I talked about in my last vlog, I'm not necessarily going to be doing weekly reading vlogs anymore. I still love sharing moments of my life with you. And I'm really grateful whenever anyone clicks on videos like this. So thanks so much for watching. I love y'all so much. And until next time.
hello, Editing Chan here. Just wanted to pop in to say two things. One, thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. I really never believed that I would get to this place, but it was like one of my biggest goals when I started a channel. I was like, I wanna start a channel, I wanna have fun, and then if I can, my like bucket list goal is to hit 100K, and now that I have, I'm just so appreciative. I'm just so grateful, and I couldn't thank you enough for this milestone. I really, I like, obviously couldn't have done it without all of you, and I love you so, so much. And while I am cozied up under the softest, most comfortable sheets that I have ever slept on, I wanted to remind you that Brooklyn is having their biggest sale of the year, and that sale is happening right now through November 30th. Click the link in my description for 20% off bedding and other products. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.